Hi, I'm Sven Castor, a recent graduate of the White Lab at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. I'm excited to share about my recently published work on the synthesis of ethers. The reaction is easy enough that a middle schooler like my friend Leonidas can run it. It can be run open to air and is not sensitive to water like moisture in the air, and ethers form cleanly so it is easy to isolate. Leonidas, can you tell us why ethers are so important? They are found in many things that smell nice, look good, taste good, and keep our hair and skin good looking my cool hair gel. Well, I don't need the hair gel, but Leonidas, tell us about a cool ether you're making lab today. What are the ingredients that you'll be using? Um, we will be using alcohol, plus an open, and we will add spent socks, and then we will end up with an ether. Yeah, so alcohol and an open and an ether are functional groups. What are functional groups? Functional groups are the atoms on a molecule that give a molecule its character and function. Like the OH on this molecule here, this alcohol, is gives it its function, and this is called menthol. Um, like the ingredient that's found in my minty gum, right? Yeah, exactly. The other ingredient is an alkene. Alkenes are commonly found in things like gasoline. Like the things my parents used to fill up their car. Yeah, yes. Usually if you mix an alcohol and an alkene together, no reaction happens. But if you spend socks, you can get ethers. Yeah, let's go make an ether. First we weigh out the palladium acetate and add that to our vial. The next ingredient is the spent socks ligand which is crucial for the reaction to happen. The palladium and the ligand come together in the reaction to make the spent socks catalyst. Next we add a quinone oxidant. It is like the fuel for the catalyst. Then we add the alcohol menthol which is found in your gum and an olefin like the one in gasoline. Then we have a stock solution of an acid that also makes a part of the spent socks in an organic solvent, toluene. Then we'll add a magnetic stir bar that keeps everything mixing well. Don't forget to add your magnetic stir bar. And then we heat the reaction up and let it stir for 48 hours. After 48 hours, we let the reaction cool down. While it is cooling down, we set up a column that allows us to separate the different parts of the reaction from a desired ether product. Another thing that makes this reaction so easy is that you do not need to do an aqueous workup or any workup you can just do chromatography. The alcohol starting material likes the silica more and will get stuck, but the ethers do not like silica and will pass through much more quickly. You can tell where your ether is using another kind of chromatography called a TLC plate. Once we have our ether clean, we have to evaporate off the solvent, and now we have made our first ether. To confirm we made it, we'll take a picture of it using NMR spectroscopy. Question. Spent sock is acting like a little robot that you put in your reaction to make it go faster. Catalysts can even make reactions like this one that would never happen happen. But how? Imagine a successful reaction like the one you just ran it can be represented by holding hands. We need to be close together. Exactly. So that's what spent socks is doing. This is what we call proximity. So spent socks is helping take you the alcohol into proximity with the olefin. Uh, this puts us close, but it's harder to connect our hands. Another thing that spent socks is doing is called orientation. So spent socks is taking you the alcohol and the olefin and putting them in the correct orientation in order for them to more easily hold hands. 